Today at Mullen Machinery, we have a Hardinge model HLVH, serial number 13573-T. It makes it early 90s, if I recall right, it's, I want to say a 91. Whatever I have it on the website is, that's what it is, but off the top of my head, I just remember it was early 90s. It's inch threading only. Variable speed. Buck six jaw just true chuck. Royal Live Center. Hardened four jaw chuck. Hardened steady rest. Dial indicator holder that clamps on the ways. This is your spindle protector. Copy of a manual. This is your banjo gear. There's a face plate in there. Some miscellaneous collets, looks like mostly hardinge or all hardinge. We took the Allura's tool post off so you can see the top of the compound is fine, never been cracked or repaired. This is just oil on the ways, but the ways are good. There's shiny spots and lines, but when you feel it, it's Pretty smooth. There's a handful of very light scratches in a couple spots, but there's no big ridges or anything. Just shiny spots. Some spots shinier than others, but we had to put new wipe way wipers on because whatever they use for coolant had eaten the wipers up. So there's new way wipers front and rear on the carriage. Two little spots of paint on the top cover flaked up. All the teeth look like they're on the uh, collet draw tube. There's your coolant pump built in. Right now the uh, brake is not grabbing. I'm sure probably just an adjustment or cleaning the cork that rubs in the back. I haven't looked at that yet. And the threading isn't engaging. I haven't looked at that, but it's not a big deal. We will fix it. But we'll run it for you right now. Not going to run too high with the chuck on, but pull the start. We'll go low speed first. Chuck it off. We've got it in the threading, so let's see. Go back to feeds. Let's see feeds. It feeds this way. There we go. There we go. Up. Carriage feeding right. Carriage feeding left. You can vary the speed. Vary the speed on it. Speed it up. Cross feed. We'll put it in high speed. We run the speed down first. That is a slow speed. Make it high speed. About 1500. I don't like to go too high with a chuck on it. The chuck's not perfectly balanced. Aside from a little scratch on the door over here, the paint's pretty good. All original paint. We didn't clean out in there yet, but it's, it's clean enough. Like I said, we will take a look at the brake and we will figure out why the threading's not engaging right now. It's not a big deal either way, we will fix it. We 
said the waves are good. It's just oil on them right now. They're real smooth. Of course, up front where it matters. I said there's some spots that are shinier than others, but overall it's pretty smooth. There's one when it's very, very, very slight roughness in a couple spots in the front, but it's relatively minor. No chips, no deep dings from dropping anything on it. So check this machine out and more at mullenmachinery.com. That's M-U-L-L-I-N machinery.com for all your tool room and fabricating needs.